Yes, there were soldiers there. Another part that people are not really talking about. The police also came. The SARS people were talking about. They also came. So maybe 40, 45 minutes after the soldiers left. We were tear gassed. It's no secret that Nigerians watched with horror as hundreds of unharmed peaceful NSAS protesters were gunned down at the Lekki toll gate, Lagos, by military men as they chanted the Nigerian anthem and waved the Nigerian flag on Tuesday night, October 20, 2020. Ever since, it's been a dark mood in Nigeria as scores of demonstrators are allegedly dead and still counting with several others injured. At Lekki, yeah. uh, we know, 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 Photo and video evidence making the rounds on social media, including the live broadcast of DJ Switch, a popular Nigerian celebrity disc jockey who was present at the scene of the massacre, have raised suspicion that the massacre was premeditated. But by who? Events preceding the massacre, including the threat from Bola Tinubu, curfew in position by the state governor, removal of all CCTV cameras at the toll gate plaza, and the light out to bury evidence have caused many to point accusing fingers towards the state governor and his godfather. But these two have refused to take responsibility for the massacre. The Nigerian army has equally denied deploying military men for the operation, saying that it is fake news. Despite the denial on all sides, Nigerians have insisted that Nigerian army, Tinubu and Songwolu are all complicit in the Lekki Tollgate massacre. Hence, the birthing of the multi-million dollar question, who ordered the Lekki Tollgate massacre? Down, sit down! AY comedian said, Who controls the toll gate? Who ordered the removal of light from the toll gate? Who ordered the removal of CCTV from the toll gate? Once you know who has authority over the above, you would know who was responsible for the shootings today. Is this true? These are some of the shells we picked. These are some of the shells we picked. This one I call my own because it's, it's landed right next to my ear. This one was uh, one we took out from someone's uh, lap. The military, they were there on Nigerian soil, killing Nigerian citizens. The police and the SARS-like people came doing the same thing, aiming and shooting, aiming, not they were pointing the gun at us and shooting live bullets. Who takes live bullets to protest? Who does that? Hello guys, it's t -Code here for African Glades. Following the emergence of multiple videos on social media showing security agents in military camouflage opening fire on the NSAS protesters as their screams and scramble for safety rented the air, the Nigerian army immediately took to its official Twitter page to state that no soldier was at the massacre scene or shot at the unarmed protesters. The Nigerian army further noted on all its verified social media account that protest is a civil matter and the Nigerian army has nothing to do with it. Soon they began to label all photo and videos showing the Nigerian army is complicit in the act as fake news. But Nigerians are having none of it. Why? Hours before the massacre, there were rumors that military was being deployed to unleash terror on protesters which was accompanied by footage showing brand new military tanks deployed around the country. A masked soldier begging his colleague not to shoot NSAS protesters in a video was equally arrested by the Nigerian army for cybercrime after saying the news was fake. 
Also, video evidence showed numerous military nameplates scattered on the ground of the massacre scene, which emerged online. To crown it all, the celebrity disc jockey DJ Switch, who was present at the scene, insisted that Brigadier General F.O. Omota led the operation. It also doesn't help that the Nigerian Army Operation Crocodile Smile launched on the 20th of October 2020, the same day the Lekki massacre was perpetrated. Is this a coincidence? People that have analyzed the various uh, videos that we are cropped, that what we call it, that we are photo, photo, photoshop put together. If not because I'm not permitted, I would have forwarded it to it. I can afford to send it to the people who took interest. If this thing is true, that they actually shot, they have done the analysis, they are on standby. And so where is the situation? Who is killing who? So that is my response to you. And I will say that for now, don't take any response from me that yes, we did it, no, or no. But more or less, from what I can see, from all the evidences, as a general, I will tell you that it may not be true. Shortly after the massacre began, the governor of Lagos State, Babajide Songwolu, in a statement issued by the State Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Benga Omotosho, condemned and ordered an investigation into the shooting. But you can imagine the shock when Nigerians found out that the shooting continued to the morning of the following day. Despite this gross display of incompetence, Sonwoo Lu alongside his entourage visited about 30 victims receiving treatment in mostly private hospitals and soon in his live broadcast stated that no fatalities were recorded as against the widespread news circulation on social media. Fellow Lagosians, whilst we pray for the swift recovery of the injured, we are comforted that we have not recorded any fatality as against the widespread circulation on social media. Giving no concrete reports on the massacre investigation, he boldly declared that it was caused by forces beyond the direct control of the state. Nigerians who watched one of the NSAS protesters give up the ghost on DJ Switch live broadcast on Instagram began calling him a liar, causing him to later admit there has been one fatality. Like you must have guessed, many believe him to be complicit in the act as he appears to be lying at every turn. This suspicion was somewhat proven right and when when Lots had promo media, the media company running the billboard at the Toll Gate Plaza revealed that the governor of Lagos State, Sonwo Lu, ordered the billboard light out. This is coming after the governor denied any knowledge of the Toll Gate light out. Interestingly, many believe it's no coincidence that the media company is owned by Shei Tinubu, the son of Sonwo Lu godfather, Bola Tinubu. Speaking about Bola Tinubu, the popular Lagos politician and APC chieftain have also been accused of masterminding the massacre in an attempt to protect his lucrative investment in the company managing the Lekki Toll Gate, Lekki Concession Company, LCC. Many also point to his tweet where a threatened excessive force may be used if NSARS is suspected to be anarchist hours before the carnage. But in a leaked phone call made to him by an angry Nigerian, Tinubu washed his hands off the Tuesday night massacre. When asked if he ordered the massacre, he denied it saying only the president asked the authority to order the military to take action or kill innocent protesters. Again when asked if he owns LCC, he said, I have no dime, no cobble investment in the toll gate. Sadly, this disclosure by Tinubu has done nothing to quell the anger of Nigerians as since the carnage, the world has watched with horror as properties and establishments suspected to be owned by Tinubu been raced down by angry mobs. Uh, who, sent, who sent the people to remove the cameras from the toll gate and why did the light at the toll gate go off? When I don't know. I'm, I don't run toll gate. <laughs> Sir, we know we know how much sir we know how much you make daily there. The nation newspaper, the two Lekki Toll Gate Plazas, Television Continental, TVC, a TV station rumored to be owned by AIM, Oriental Hotel in VI have been set ablaze by thugs. Tinubu's Ikoyi mansion was equally stormed by an angry mob.
However, when it was revealed that Tinubu ran away and is hiding in France, this is not all as anyone who is suspected to be close to Tinubu were paid a visit by thugs. The Oba of Lagos Palace was destroyed, looted and raised down by thugs even as they made away with his staff of authority, Opashe. Sonwolu's mother's house was equally burnt to the ground. Meanwhile, Amnesty International said it received credible but disturbing evidence of excessive use of force occasioning the death of protesters at Leki Toll Gate in Lagos, adding that it is investigating the killing. Seeing as it is an international which may not be bribed, what do you think will answer for the grievous crime against humanity and how soon will that be? Do let us know what your answer is in the comment section down below. If you thoroughly enjoyed watching this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on the bell to get a lot of more scintillating videos to come. Finally, thank you for watching this video to the end. See you next time. We were running. <laughs> this, this is our, what they call it, our coconut hair generation. <laughs> we would run, we would come back, we would run. And the only thing we fought with was our flags. We would sit on the floor and raise our hands up, waving our flags and singing the national anthem. That's all we had. They put off the lights. Even if, even if there's no power on a good day, in that axis, there's always light at the toll gate. There was no light. The lights were off. The street lights were off. It was pitch black. I'm sorry.